that's extension like this. Now, abduction is actually lifting up the arms to the sides like that. Now, can anybody think what type of injury would impede this type of motion? A shoulder injury, like a rotator cuff problem. Like you fall down and you, get, you land with the arm bracing. Okay, now, next thing is abduct, abduction, double D. Then we want to also test the shoulders. So we're going to do rotation. Now this is internal rotation. So we scratch the back of the neck. This is external rotation. Now really try to scratch high on your back. What joint here are you really, really pulling on? Does anybody know the joint right here? Your AC joint? acromioclavicular joint. Yeah, this is the one that often gets arthritis. So tenderness here, you can pinpoint it right there. That's actually my mom's, was my mom's favorite place. Ron, you didn't do your homework on time? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm teasing, I'm teasing. Um, I you don't have to be. Exactly. <laughs> so, but um, that's how you check out the shoulders. So the key movements would be the forward flexion, extension, abduction. And for instance, if someone really has shoulder pain, it's normal to be able to go to a full 180 degrees. But people that really have shoulder pain may not only be able to get it that far before they have the onset of pain. So you see, that's the sort of thing that you would chart. You compare the normal range of motion, which is yours, to what the patient can do. And you chart, okay, onset of pain at 90 degrees, onset of pain at 120. See, that makes you a good clinician. So those, those are the movements for the shoulders. Now, of course, for the arms, the elbows, we have flexion and extension. Then we have supination, we've got our bowls of soup, and we've got, what's this? Pronation. Pronation. Everybody knows this. All right, then let's talk about hands. So we've got finger extension, finger flexion, finger abduction, finger adduction, and then I'm just going to explain the nerves that supply the hand. We've got the radial nerve, we've got the ulnar nerve, which is going to get these last two. And we've got the medial nerve, which supplies the middle finger and the inner half of the second and uh, fourth digits. So if there's a nerve injury, those are the areas where we're going to get weakness. Okay. Now, the most important set of nerves is actually the radial, because if you have a weak radial nerve, you're not going to be able to make a tight ring it'll be easy to break it. Now that's beyond the basic course. But since some of you are involved in a more, more technological nursing, it helps you understand why a person might have weakness. Now for instance, there's pressure on the nerve from arthritis, something like that, or from some type of injury. The nerves aren't gonna work real well. So those are the tests we do for, now when you see me do the exam, We'll go pulmonary, cardiac, pulmonary, abdominal, and the person is still lying with the face up. Supine. Then I go straight into the lower extremity range of motion. Now I want to show you what I do because this is very smooth and it goes fast. So let's go to the first row. 